Creating div boxes with arrows look cool, and creating them see-through looks amazing. So here's how to do it. First we're going to create a normal rectangle, or a div. Then we're going to create a small square box. We're going to rotate that box and move it up so that it aligns. We are going to get rid of that line in the middle and we are going to get rid of the top facing arrow so that we have the exact shape that we're looking for. These boxes look really cool and they're used in many applications like the one that I've used here for this website. We're going to build this particular model and the code is really simple. It's in the code snippet as well. First we're going to give the background a red color. Now we're actually going to build the div or the rectangular box and this is the code. Note that the position has to be relative. This will be important later on. Let's add the HTML. And give it some lorem ipsum text. And there's our div with our text in it. Great, we're almost there. Now we just have to create that transparent arrow. So create the same div class and give it a pseudo value of after. Make sure that the position is absolute. This will be important. This time we give it a width of 50 pixels and a height of 50 pixels as well, so that it's a perfect square. Then we give it an all round border. Border top, two pixels solid with a white color. Do the same for the right, bottom and left. Now we set from top 100% and left 50% so that the box is completely at the bottom and aligned in the middle. But because it's 50 pixels wide and 50 pixels high, we need to set a margin left of negative 25 pixels so that the box comes in the center. If it's not displaying, it's because we have to put that vital piece of code in there saying content blank. Only then will the box show. Now, to rotate it 45 degrees so that it becomes into a diamond with the arrows pointing up, down, left and right, we give it a CSS transform property with the value rotate and 45 degrees. If you haven't learned this yet, don't worry, it's really easy. Once you do that, your square rotates 45 degrees into a diamond. Set the margin top to negative 25 pixels so that you align the center of the diamond to the bottom line of the box. Now we just have to get rid of that little line in the middle. To do that, we simply fill our diamond with the background color. So this time we'll set the background to be red, the same as the body. And there we go. Now can you guess what's next? We have to get rid of the left border and the top border. Now the left and the top border were as they were when it was a square. So to do that, simply set the border top to 0 pixels and the border left to 0 pixels as well. And voila, there you have it your transparent box with a transparent arrow. So it's not really transparent, but the effect is exactly what we're looking for. So if I move it left 25%, then you can see that the arrow moves, and it's even responsive. It's not going to affect where the arrow is. Let's set this back to 50%, because I like it in the middle. And you can set this to any color you like. You can set the background, for example, to yellow. And if you do that, you'll see our fill, which is in red for the diamond. All you have to do is change that background to the same color as the background of your body or your section or wherever your div sits on. So the effect is really easy and it's very cool looking. Go ahead and try it. The code is in the comments. Thanks for watching.